Hey Virgo, this is Kelly from House of Virgo. Hope you are all doing well. This is going to be your love reading. Virgos only, welcome to my channel. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. Remember to tick the notification bell. Um, I upload every evening, 10.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, Virgos, this is your love reading. It's a general reading. Please keep that in mind. Not all messages may resonate for you. Um, this will be for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. And also, if you would like to get a personal reading from me, there's a link in the description box below. All right, Virgo, let's see what your, your love life saga is bringing us today. Virgo, Virgo. Virgo, Virgo. Okay. So, Eight of Cups, the Chariot, Cancer, Pisces, the Hanged Man death card wow three major arcana scorpio energy two of pentacles weighing options nine of pentacles that's your card virgo oh there's your sign queen of wands and the king of wands and the lovers oh my goodness all right bottom of the deck okay we have the magician so manifestation manifestation station what's going on here okay nine of cups um hmm. some of you virgo are just like in this position here where you are just trying to manifest your dreams make things happen in your life your focus you've got your intentions are in the good place are in a good place right now virgo um seven of cups and the four of cups so this is an energy of like being indifferent to love or not being able to make a decision right now waiting for some of you waiting for the perfect opportunity um waiting for the right person to come in yep um actually okay for some king of swords and the queen of pentacles here ace of pentacles with the ten of cups i feel like there's all right so it just kind of feels like some of you are like hoping that somebody is going to come towards you make an offer um or you'll have a or there will be an opportunity for it feels like um for some getting your family back together or the the to re oh, what's the word they're giving me redo your vows okay some of you might have been married but some of you are just hoping to have a um, connection with an air sign okay and that's not for all of you but some of you and others you're just kind of like also on the fence you know like you kind of have one foot in the past maybe just a toe maybe not the whole foot maybe it's just a toe kind of in the past and just it kind of feels like <laughs> you're walking out the door it's like a snapshot you okay <clears throat> that's what i'm visioning here you're walking out the door you're leaving love behind you're manifesting new in your life this is like the path that you're on but you're not fully out the door yet okay so some of you are just kind of hoping that your person is going to just catch you real quick and there's like a little bit of hope and maybe something will change but most of your body is out the door okay <laughs> that's just kind of how i feel right now all right um so it is what it is let's take a look and see what your love messages are here going forward love messages for our virgo hi everybody keep an open mind see your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so some of you are just kind of like you're not making any solid moves right now um, you're kind of like, well, okay, it would be great if the past, if things could work out or there could be reconciliation or something good could happen. But if that's not going to happen, I'm still moving forward, right? I'm still keeping an, an open mind. Maybe there'll be somebody else. Maybe the person I was with was not my soulmate. Maybe they were a karmic partner. So there's a lot of um, clarity that you're seeking at this time. Okay. Very soon though clearly decide you will very soon you will make a decision some of you to just fully be out the door and shut that door tight bolt bolted locked chains on the door no return 
point of no return. A lot of you have already reached that place. <laughs> okay? Um, I feel like your heart, <clears throat> excuse me, your heart's not fully out. Like your head is way ahead. Your head is like, yep, I'm out. But your heart is still kind of, uh, there's that soft spot, I feel. Okay, attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying your moments fully, right? So this is not seeking love. I don't feel like anybody is seeking love. I just feel like you are in this position of maybe trying to attract or just hoping to attract new love into your life, okay? Which I do feel like that's going to happen, but I will go over to the singles as well. This actually kind of feels like it might be more for singles, but we'll see how it goes. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Okay, so Eight of Cups, there you go. Temporarily walking away. It, so when I say temporary, it's kind of like a separation. Like I feel like right now you feel like you really can't do anything about someone that you're currently talking to or that you're in separation with. This person, I feel, is on some kind of journey right now. They um, have purposely pulled away from you. Maybe they've done that already. Okay, there may be travel. Um, they're definitely in a position of trying to see things differently, gain a different perspective, okay, as far as making a life change. Now, there may be something here where there is, wherever this person is, they're leaving home or they've left home and they're traveling. And, you know, it's kind of like how people... You know, you need a change of scenery to get a fresh perspective. I don't know, maybe your person's like hanging from tree branches. I don't know. A change of scenery to get a, a fresh perspective on life, to gain clarity and balance. Um, I feel like this, per this person you're connecting with is opening up their mind. And that's what the hangman energy feels like to me. Opening up their mind so they can make a decision about your relationship you know or the relationship okay let's get some clarity uh let's take a look at what's this chariot okay yeah new passion potential new beginning here this is what so i kind of feel like your person something went uh it feels like for a little while you guys were together or the time that you spent together, or whatever's going on in their life, it feels very dry. Like uh, something with the relationship or the connection needed some spicing up. And some of that also has to do with kind of trying to figure out what to do about that. I feel like a lot of you got into a very routine thing and then that routine though felt like it wasn't going anywhere it wasn't doing anything not that ru not that routine is bad it just feels to me like this person at this time if they're not communicating with you and they're like kind of gone i feel like but they're not but it's temporary that's what the eight of cups is this temporary going on a journey seeking that ninth cup which is here the nine of cups wish coming true um joyfulness happiness you guys there's definitely a separation happening here and your person is 100 percent has has pulled away or has left or is not communicating because they are on some kind of i don't know they're traveling or they're on some kind of journey where they're just trying to get a fresh perspective to bring some passion back into the relationship yeah it's odd let's see the hangman okay justice is here libran energy i feel like this new perspective or this thing is how to have like a win-win outcome in this relationship this your person is in this position of doing the right thing you know why weren't they why you know what is it about do they love you i mean yeah the lovers is here they do love you but there was something about committed relationship or emotional um being emotionally avoidant i feel you know when the opportunity came this person was just closed off to it 
Um, they just, it feels to me like they had a lot on their plate or too many options or they just were kind of keeping things surface and they really didn't know what they wanted. It, maybe just they had a lot of opportunities, maybe a lot of offers, but kind of living in like, I don't know, fantasy land, right? Um, they, I feel like this person, this is not being grounded the seven of cups this is not being in reality to this person love is more of like a fantasy a dream they don't view themselves like when love comes it's like oh it's not real this person look at they whoever you were connecting with did not they were adverse to love and different because they didn't feel like they deserved it or that it like they couldn't even look at it and even when love came to them not just from you but from others they just couldn't it kept piling up and piling up and then they got to the place where they just couldn't make a decision and i feel like right now you guys are like well as i'm doing this reading there's separation here and justice is like trying to see the truth with the hanged man here getting a new perspective looking at things differently so you guys are definitely not communicating even if you are communicating there's no nothing happening okay um, the, the, t the communication or the talk is not having any conversations about the relationship or fixing something. So while this person is taking, I, and for some of you, I feel like this person just ghosted. Okay. And why do I say that? <laughs> because look at the ghost there. And a lot, of, a lot of you are just like, where did, what happened? Where did they go? What's going on? Nothing. Silence. And while that's happening, you're doing the same thing. Now you're rethinking things. You're rethinking your life. You're rethinking how can you make your wishes come true? Where, where do you need to start? Okay? So I feel like a lot of you were just kind of forced to redirect your energy back into yourself. Okay? So... It's interesting here because very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. This person is definitely coming into this place of trying to make a decision about the partnership with the Two of Pentacles, weighing things up. There's death here, transformation and the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, okay. This is all decision mode. So presently, right now, your person is, they do come to clarity. There's something about your relationship where you and your person have a lot in common, but you're opposite. And I'm not exactly sure in what ways, but there's some type of opposite. Because when it says your soulmate may differ from usual type and expectations, that could really mean like your opposite on a, um, an economical level, geographical level, uh, race could be opposite or different. Um, it's not opposite, it's more different. Um, there's, you know, what you would normally have a preference for, this person does not meet that in a lot of ways, yet you accepted and loved them anyway, or you fell in love with them despite the differences, and the same for them. So what's happening here, I feel like that really played a role in the struggle or the difficulty in your relationship, okay? And it doesn't have to be those things I listed. It could just be, you know what your differences are, okay? I don't want to go too specific, but you know what your differences are. Um, now with the death card here, I feel like your person is in this position of weighing the options. Do they stay single and just keep going that way, keep going in that direction? Uh, they're seriously in this position now of making a decision. And it's not between you and somebody else. It's between whether they want to make that transformation and really change in the sense of going from being non-committal to committal, or if they just want to stay single as a Pringle, Nine of Pentacles, on their own, independent, and just all about their money and their work. Okay, so the decision is being made currently. Now let's take a look here 
at the death card because I know some of you were kind of like maybe pressing them or asking them about you know uh, kind of like I'm just hearing I'm hearing the phrase what are we or what are we doing um, and a lot of you unfortunately were leaving that up to your person to determine the relationship but a lot of you now are in this position of determining it for yourself and a lot of you are like we aren't anything I'm me and we're not married we're not committed and nothing so you have no other choice but to either go and attract new love or uh, just you know move forward in your life okay let's take a look at the death card here what is this transformation what is this change to end their old way of life and have a new beginning with you or to you know stay on their own weighing their options this person like does a hell of a lot of thinking and analyzing okay death okay temperance sagittarian energy and five of swords okay Okay, so it feels like this death card, this transformation, this change um, has a lot to do with them being in the position of forcing peace, forcing, uh, or I don't want to say force, but kind of like taking the lead to bring balance into the relationship so that is like the change i don't feel like your person took the lead in the past i feel like for a lot of you they left it up to you maybe they just followed along um, but then when you tried to get a straight answer out of them they really couldn't give you a straight answer there's the lovers a lot of you were trying to get that answer here with the lovers like I have this is a card of decision are we together or not um i, I, I like it feels like this person you were giving too much power away to allow this person was not capable of making the decision or make taking the lead um, or being straight with you and saying yes we are together or no we're not together a lot of you this person might have been like not sure and wanted to just stay friends and some of you were just like no that's not that's not what you want and others of you just kind of waited around for them to make a decision <laughs> you know um so let's take a look at this nine of pentacles yep eight of pentacles focus on their work okay so here's the decision balancing it out look at this the yin and the yang it feels very much like well do i you know do i do this or do i do this this person's clearly taking it seriously right now and for a lot of you, it could have something to do with maybe you decided to just be indifferent and just say forget it and just leave it alone, okay? Um, but look what's happening here. This person, oh gosh. So you remember how I was saying that, that there were some kind of differences? Your person saw, diff like there was differences between the two of you, they saw it, maybe you saw it. I feel like you both definitely had love. The lover's card is here twice. Um, the love for each other was there, but nobody was really making, you guys weren't coming together to make that decision to be together. But look, your, since it's like with your person, they see, they're focusing more, that's what it is. They're focusing now on the similarities versus the differences. And I feel like that is what kept the relationship from progressing your person was too much focused on why it can't work out um, or focusing on the differences between you instead of seeing that you guys like this you know how look the same reds the same oranges the same yellows the same blue sky you know being equal to each other right the more we focus on the similarities the stronger the relationship is the more we focus on the differences that's like focusing the more you the more you look at the cracks in the pavement the more the pavement is cracked that's how i feel and so with the lovers here decision gets made this person just makes it like it's 100 percent attracting romantic love by appreciating the differences between each other and emphasizing the similarities okay 
Yeah, there's peace between you. Peace. True peace. So it just kind of feels to me like, you know, your person recognizes and will be recognizing that there is rest. They can rest with you. Um, whereas before, they were feeling restless with you because they were restless in their own heart and everything had to be perfect. This person, I feel like a lot in their life was so busy trying to find their perfect partner that they were unable to attain what they wanted because that's fantasy. There is no such thing as the perfect person. You know, <laughs> there's, there's one thing to have preferences, okay? And I, I don't necessarily feel like that's a bad thing, but I feel like when it comes to love, love doesn't have a preference. Love just has love. And your person, feel it feels to me like they never really understood love. You know, uh, in a sense of like when you meet someone and, and you're more forgiving when you love someone. You're more able to overlook flaws and say, okay, well, this person did this. Now, I'm not talking about deal breakers like cheating and, and lying and, and things like that. Um, you know, you can forgive that person, but you can't trust that person. And then so you have to like distance yourself from that person. Now, if that was part of this relationship in the past where there was cheating or lying, then um, that's a tough call, okay? That's a tough call because when that happens and this person is having a wake-up and realizing that they are remorseful and they need to, and they want to come back and they want to try to fix things, then they really got to make amends and they really got to try to prove for quite some time so the trust gets built back up again. Um, that possibly could be happening here with some of you. And I do feel like this person is having some type of a wake up, like they've, they've sought it out, they've sorted it out, they figured it out, they, they know that you are their other half, your twin flame, 100%, because we have two, oh, sorry, my phone's ringing and I cannot get over there, it's too far away, so I hope you don't mind. <laughs> hey, this must be a sign, some of you are going to be getting a phone call soon from this person, with, they're going to be calling to tell you that they've made a decision or they are wanting to speak to you and try to find a way to make something work here and you guys like aren't answering the phone <laughs> why because some of you may not be trusting this yep there's the moon a lot of deception okay a lot of secrets a lot of things hidden the moon doesn't reveal all that much and some of you I feel like yes you love this person yes you would like to have this relationship work out because you still have that little grain of hope so to speak um, but at the same time you're like I don't know you I don't feel like it, it just kind of feels to me like okay now they realize but you might be gone already or you just might be like well now so much damage is done you don't know if you yeah look the shadow side the devil so much damage has been done that you don't know if you can trust this person or you don't even know if you want to you know i mean it feels to me like you know it's it's wonderful where I feel like this person is kind of waking up to things and they realize, you know, that you were the best thing ever for them. But at the same time, man, they're really going to have to, they're really going to have to work for it. They're really going to have to give their best performance and really show you that they mean it this time. And it's like Virgo, if you're going to accept this person back, just don't do it willy nilly. Like you cannot be given out boyfriend or girlfriend uh, benefits immediately this person has to you got to put them on probation <laughs> like you got to be like a prison ward <laughs> Virgo I don't even feel like I need to tell you that but if you feel like you're, you're gonna just take this person back as soon as they just tell you that they love you well I mean come on you know, it's kind of like someone that steals from a, a candy store and then, you know, 
they ha there has to be consequences and they got to they got to repent they got to pay back they can come in and say i'm really sorry i love you but that that's not enough they uh, prison uh, prison the can the candy shop owner is going to look at them and say well that's awesome thanks for loving me obviously you do that you felt the need to take from us but you need to pay back or put the candy back <laughs> right i mean be practical in your thinking virgo before you take anybody back who's done a lot of damage okay and that's what that devil card is so we have pisces again we have capricorn leo Aquarius. Uh, i just said aquarius why did i say that leo aries and sagittarius all right let's take a look and see what these messages of love from your person are be really interesting to hear here or see what they have to say and I'm going to give these a really good shuffle. So hold your horses. Hi, everybody. How are you? Okay, let's see. All right. I can still see you standing there. Okay, creepy. I can't stop thinking about you. Okay, your advice here, time apart. Some distance will help bring clarity. You need to keep your distance from this person before you make any kind of decision. If you're already keeping your distance, just get some distance. You need that so you can get some clarity. This person looks for you everywhere. They're spying on you. They're stalking you. I don't know how they would see you, but that's what's happening here. There's definitely attraction here and chemistry yeah, I kind of feel like the two of you met and you don't know why. And it didn't, something didn't work out and yet you still feel them. And this person still feels and thinks of you. This person, they lost themselves for a little while. And I feel like they're going to tell you that when they come back to communicate with you. Um, because of the eight of cups being here that temporary like i had to lose myself for a little while to gain my thoughts and my clarity and i had to lose everything in order to have everything i don't know if you're familiar with that term apology they're coming in with an apology you can expect the apology you want to hear mastery and so for some of you you've become like spiritual masters you've learned a, a big lesson here um this was like a pivotal situation in your life it's, it, or is still something that you may be learning okay this is one for the books virgo okay let's see i am becoming a better person okay that's lovely let's hope so if they're becoming a better person great don't give lip service show it show and tell let's see it <laughs> okay all right obsession someone is someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts it's your person there we go oh can't stop thinking about you okay and you're on their mind like insane what did you do to this person virgo oh my goodness all right let's get some advice cards for you and then we're going to move over to the singles crazy this is crazy this is crazy this is crazy this should be a netflix series seriously seriously get it <laughs> virgo drama love saga let's see tune in tomorrow for the virgo next episode of virgo's love life here you are king of pentacles you are accomplished compassionate charismatic and grounded male or female this is a time of great success for you virgo you, it's a win-win no matter what you do whatever decision you make going forward it's a win-win um, you have financial security and prosperity coming to you okay 
in, and especially in this day and age with the pandemic and everything that's going on in the world, this is really good for you. You have the Midas touch, Virgo. <laughs> that's why I said a win-win. No matter what happens, you will be able to accomplish whatever you're seeking to manifest right now. Everything turning out beautifully. You may be a very supportive parent and or spouse. And you might be someone who's very good to work for. All right, let's see. King of Pentacles, uh, you're becoming very stable, I feel, some of you, not all of you, since getting distance from this relationship, grounding yourselves. Okay, here's Five of Swords again. An unwise choice. There's a better way that will make you happier, happier, Virgo. Avoid people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives, and that's why you need to get distance. It's wonderful if this person has a wake-up call. It's wonderful if they realize, you know, what they need to do to make changes, um, to be better for you. That's wonderful, but they need to prove it, and you need to keep your distance <clears throat> because, I mean, listen, some of you are like, I, I just, I don't do leftovers. I just do not do leftovers. And some of you um, have already made the decision that... <laughs> I just heard that song by Jojo. Little, it's just a little too late. It's just a little too late, little too low. Da -da 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 -da. Okay. Anyway, um, for some, this is a bad decision for you to go back to the past. For some, this is a bad choice. It takes a lot to change. If you were connecting with someone who was lacking integrity or you had to question their moves or their motives or what they were doing it takes and this is the truth it's an exception to the rule for someone who was cheating and lying and manipulating to have a usually there's a major trigger that would happen in their life to cause them to make a grave change sometimes that would be like near-death experiences or Jesus came down, you know, or they lost someone very close to them, you know, or a child, like major, major, major. The majority of the time this does not happen to people because people want to change, but it, it's really difficult. There are people who are in counseling for years trying to make change behaviors. Is it impossible? No, but it's not, it's highly unprobable is how I feel. If for your person, they could come back and wake up and realize they want to be with you and you're it for them. But a lot of the time, it's more so because they're, they're missing you. Okay. And they just want to have you back in their life. But once, as you guys know, sometimes you let up somebody back and then they, they say they're going to change or they say they're becoming a better person, but then they, and they do for a little while and then they show back in resort into their old ways. And if, you know, you have to have your deal breakers. And if you're going back to someone, you know, I could see if someone... If someone cheats one time or gets caught in a lie one time and they're repentant and then you want to give them another chance, that's fine. But you got to like, they got to get help because obviously big lies and cheating is a big deal. That's betrayal. And if you take them back and they do it again, okay, this person was just pulling your leg and manipulating you and you got to go. Don't be wasting time on people who lack integrity or who have questionable motives point blank period this is your life you have one life to live and you're not going to be on this planet forever okay four of swords insights that come from meditation the need to rest or take a vacation allow yourself more time before making a decision virgo because i know some of you are you know on the fence and that's okay. You're in this process. You're going through this. You're in your whatever pace you're at. Everybody's pace is different wherever you are. Um, some of you have children who are involved in this. And that weighs a lot more heavily than someone who is just single 
and you know they just got a split and the only thing they're going to have a problem with is bad credit others have kids or families and ev it's a ripple effect and everyone else gets affected so you know if, if you're like just like okay screw it let my credit be shot i just got to get out of this relationship i'll rebuild back better later then do what you got to do but for those of you who have a lot more at stake and a lot more invested take your time take your time think it through and if this person's coming back and they're trying to want to prove to you and you want to give them a chance you should still take your take your time you should still have one foot out the door because you don't know what's going to happen okay um be careful of mental exhaustion you need to get more sleep for some of you i saw this at the bottom of the deck when i was talking earlier it's the seven of wands and i thought i should pull that i shuffled and it came out stand up for yourself and your beliefs virgo have confidence in yourself challenge those in power but also choose your battles wisely okay don't waste time on people don't be out there fighting everybody just don't waste time on people who are not worthy of you okay oh they gave us four charms so we have the shoe some of you are stepping out um, this is a high heel shoe. So, I mean, I know there's some guys that wear high heel shoes, you know, it's whatever, but some of you, um, are just getting your, you're clicking your heels. Some of you are buying a new pair of shoes and you're stepping out on the town and you are getting yourselves in, <laughs> you know, the high heel shoes is usually for, um, I would have to say, so for women, maybe um, searching for a mate, <laughs> getting your sexy on, okay? And if that's, if that's what you need to do, get it on. Do your thing, okay? Or some of you just bought a new pair of shoes, male or female, high heels or flat, whatever. Okay, so we also have, oh, the Dalmatian. So somebody here might be into dalmatians or rewatch that 101 dalmatians or you have a dog a dalmatian um or you have a you have um a, a white dog that has some black black spots okay some of you may work with animals or dogs oh what the heck is this all right hold on you guys sometimes i look at these oh this is a sewing machine okay do we have any seamstresses in the house? Um, maybe you're sewing right now as you're listening to this or knitting or creating something with fabric. Some of you might be. Um, or you're looking at your sewing machine and it's really, really old that your grandmother gave you or it's passed down or you're looking for one. Um, okay, something here like, oh, I just heard, um, you know, if you're like, if you're like someone who's on Etsy and you're making things and you need to buy, you need, Either you need to buy a sewing machine or you need to replace your sewing machine or you need to get into that sewing project because you're very artistic and you're very good. You know, sewing is like kind of like for some, it's a Virgo thing, you know, because Virgos can be, you know, they like to do repair. Uh, Virgo likes to fix things. So also there's a snowflake. Beautiful. Okay. You're a very unique, Virgo. You're one of a kind, just like a snowflake. I feel like that's the message somebody's giving you or want you to know. I don't know if it's your person. It could be, and they could be telling you this. You're one in a million, or you're one in a, one of a kind. Like, more than one in a million. Because there's... What's the word? The indefinite. There's an indefinite amount of snowflakes, and each single one is different. You are special, Virgo. You are special. And also with the snowflake, um, the first snowflake... Okay, I know some of you don't live in snowy areas, but that could resonate for you if somebody, like, I don't, I'm not really sure you see a snowflake. It doesn't have to be an actual snowflake, or you see a snowflake somewhere, <clears throat> somehow, or you see the words, or you hear that phrase, snowflake. Whenever you hear that, it's sometime around, I feel... sometime december or january now you could be connecting with someone who is a capricorn okay but december or january is going to be a, like this person really coming into 
union with you. And some of you might already be on to new relationships or you're just done with it. But I just feel like I needed to give you that message of what I feel is coming through here. All right, let's go into the singles portion. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> your love life crazy saga, Virgos. Y'all are nuts with your love. <coughs> right? Aren't we, Virgo? Some of you got like three, four, five different lovers going on at one time. Some of you, your love life is drier than the desert sand. And that's okay. You know, I get a lot of messages and stuff. Um, spiritual downloads. I hear things. You know, like when my lights kept going out at that other place I was at. And I was telling Lucy, my friend, that I was, I had my freezer door open. It's a new freezer, a new, new refrigerator door. And I had it open too long. And I didn't know that it makes an alert if you, like, if you leave your freezer, if you leave the door open. So I guess I must have left the door open, but I didn't know. I didn't like realize I heard a sound. And it was the sound of like little tiny dinging bell. And I was like, oh my gosh, am I getting a sign? I really thought there was an angel or spirit or someone or something here giving me a little sign in here. I'm an idiot. It was, my, it was the alert on my freezer door. It makes a, a, like a tiny little jingle bell sound. <laughs> and I thought, like, I'm so spaced out by it at the time because I've been doing all my moving and I'm just like, my head swimmy and I thought that's what I thought it was and then I realized oh it's the door it's leaving the door open um, and the reason I tell you that is because the place that I moved um, that I that I bought it from um, the man that I bought it from recently passed away and I thought his spirit was here <laughs> <laughs> so not not every single thing I guess the point I'm trying to tell you is that not every message you get is from spirit sometimes it's really just something going on so yeah, I was not using my intuition I think I was just expecting something here I don't know why I'm sharing that with you but it was just the weirdest thing okay so when I get my my downloads or you know messages from the other world <laughs> I have to be very careful now. It's not just my refrigerator talking to me. All right, let's take a look. Singles. Who's coming in for singles and when? Oh, four of wands with the four of cups. Okay, four is representative of stability. All right, now we have the fool. Oh my goodness, who keeps calling me? The Ten of Wands, the Nine of Wands, and the Six of Wands. The Magician is here again. The Death card and the Chariot. In scene. Okay, let's take a look here. Three Major Arcana. These look very similar to the last Four Major Arcana. These look very similar to the reading I just did. Is it your person coming in? Not sure. Um, I don't have the Six of Cups here, so or any Reconciliation card, so no, I don't think so. What I feel like here, and you could have someone from the past coming and meet somebody new as well. I've got Aquarius, Gemini, Scorpio, and Cancer, okay, for those of you that resonates with. Now, this person is a traveler, no doubt. This person is a free like I just heard bo bohemian or they like to travel or they live in a tiny house or they they travel with their dog in a knapsack and kind of very nomadic type of lifestyle okay this person may I was definitely travel um it's weird um this person's like a performer of some sort okay performer they're on stage, okay, on a stage, strange. So when I say performer, um, I mean like it could be entertainment, they could be someone who is like a speaker, okay, um, like a Tony Robbins kind of person, all right. Um,
Give me a second now. I'm getting a weird... Oh, okay. So, <clears throat> Halloween. Some of you are going to be meeting this person maybe at a Halloween party or around Oct the end of October going into November. Um, this person, it feels like they do spooky haunted house shows or <laughs> not shows, but you know, like, I don't even know if those things are open with the pandemic or even anywhere where you live, but they're kind of like one of the zombies or something, <clears throat> you know, or um, they do, they travel though in some kind of um, show. Um, either they're on stage or they're part of some amusement thing, like an attraction, like a, like a haunted, scary, paranormal kind of thing. You might meet this person there. Okay. Um, I will tell you, though, that this person is trying to get out of a marriage or a relationship, okay? So when you meet this person, just be aware that they're in transition from a past relationship, all right? Um, it's a real struggle. This person is kind of on the fence. They, try, they want something to work, but their work prevents the relationship from happening. Their work prevents um, this relationship from, or this marriage from being successful. So they, it's like they want to, they want to, like they still love the person, but they don't feel like the person loves them. So they're having to just kind of leave it. Do you know what I mean? Um, I feel like the person that they were with is not investing into the relationship anymore because they're always on the road or they're always traveling. Okay, so if you go to, I know some of you be like, you know what, I don't like zombies and I don't like haunted house shows, but I'm definitely going to go to this and see if this happens. <laughs> um, I don't like going, I don't like scary stuff. I don't do heart, you know why? Because I see visions and I see scary stuff and I get premonitions. And so I see that stuff all the time. I can't sit and go to those haunted house things. I mean, I'll carve some pumpkins. That's probably the most, the extent of it, but I can't go into that dark area. Um, because that's that stuff's real for me um, but some of you might enjoy that you might like that <laughs> so or maybe you're putting on me you might be a part of this and you might do stuff like this or maybe around the Halloween or that time period or on the weekend or some it might even be starting now and through the month of October there's I just feel like you know they have those parades or those haunted houses or shows or with like a witch's ball or something like that that this person's a part of or they perform in or they do something there um, with that but they travel for this kind of thing or you know I'm not seeing like big fame like I'm not seeing like someone who's famous but they're part of a famous show or they're part of something that's well known maybe locally I don't think globally it just might be locally in your area or in your town okay so yeah, that's what I'm picking up for somebody new. So sometime around, I, I said October, November, but I'm also feeling, um, I mean, there's only one week left, I think, of September. So maybe this weekend and then all through into November or the end of October and last weekend or whatever, November, I don't have a calendar, so I don't know what the dates are like, but yeah. Um, is this person wanting to try to go back I just kind of feel like it's too much of a burden and this person's just trying to be okay I, I don't know what the heck I said I don't see fame right I don't see like superstardom but I do see like fame in the sense this person is they have recognition like people know them okay or they're the company that they're with okay as far as the relationship I feel like you're this person when you meet them they're like yeah they're you know things aren't going well and they're, they're, whoever they're connected with doesn't want to be with them or it's just kind of over and it's just right at the end, like the very last chord has yet to be snipped, but it will be. It's just too much of a burden is what I feel like. So they're becoming single is how I feel. All right, so you guys, I'm going to go. That was it. That was your reading. Um, yeah, just as an update, as I said, I will be here October 1st, Friday evening, 
to do the live stream mini readings, $20 for a card. All you have to do is just, I'll have a link. All you'll have to do is just pay through the link. I might even have Super Chat available so you could do it there. Um, and then you'll just pop in the live stream and ask me a question and I'll do a mini reading for you. Okay, they're not in depth. They're just like a quickie. And I did put a notice if anybody wants to become a moderator. This weekend, I'm going to be looking through everyone who's applied for the position. And if I choose you, uh, make sure you have your phone number in there. And when I choose you, um, I will add you to my WhatsApp group for to help me because I'll need help with this. I'll need people to like kind of, I mean, Virgo, you're perfect for this because you'll be able to organize and you guys work together and help me out because sometimes it goes really fast and I, I just can't do the reading and keep track that quickly. So I need like administrative administrators. <laughs> and in lieu of helping me, I will give whoever is there in the chat that day to help, whatever moderator, I will give you a one card reading for free. All right, you guys. So that's the reading. I hope that you enjoyed that and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Love you. Take care. Bye.